Hi, this is Keith Van Wormer with Van Tech Consulting. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the macro bands and the effect um, that uh, the macro band has by wavelength. So, our test setup is uh, very simple. We have our uh, HP3 um, test uh, fiber test kit. So this is the JDSU model HP3. It has the scope with it and uh, built-in scope. You know, if you've watched the other videos, you're familiar with this piece of equipment. We also have an OLS uh, 35, which is a single mode uh, light source, optical light source. It does 1310 and 1550. Um, all of the connectors have been cleaned already. So as you know, I'm, I'm um, a big fan of cleaning before we connect anything. So everything's been cleaned. Um, it's all plugged in. So what we want to do, the first thing is um, we're going to go ahead and uh, basically um, this guy's going to be off screen and we're going to be doing some referencing. So um, let me see if I can get this all in here. We'll kind of zoom this in a little bit and uh, get this as, as best as we can. So this right now is set at 1550 nanometers. So you notice we have a negative 12 on there. So right now it hasn't been referenced. So we just hold down the uh, DB, it flashes reference and now it's zeroed. So what this has done is this has actually zeroed out these two connectors and the fiber here. So if we were doing an actual test, um, we would have a bulkhead adapter um, two jumpers connected up to that bulkhead adapter, reference everything out, then when we move these to either end of the fiber, um, these jumpers and uh, the, test pan, uh, the test cords and the uh, connectors wouldn't be influencing our loss measurement. We'd only be measuring the connectors and the uh, fiber length or fiber span. So now what we're going to do is I'm set in auto on this one, so I'm going to go over to 1310. I'm going to go ahead and hold reference down with that as well. So now as I switch back and forth between 1310 and 1550, notice on this meter it is referencing out at zero. Okay, so let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. Macro band is when we exceed the bend radius um, for the fiber. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a minor bend. All right, so what we're seeing now is as I'm bending this, we're getting light lost um, around this, this tight radius bend here. So on 1310, we're getting a 0.6 dB loss. Um, now the thing with macro bends is that the loss is always greater at the longer wavelength. The longer wavelength being the 1550, 1625, 1490, etc they have more difficulty getting around this bend without losing power. So 1310 being short, it can make it around there. It's still going to lose power, but it's going to make it around okay. Um, let's go ahead and flip this over to 1550. Now what we're seeing is there's been no change at all in the macro bend. It stayed the same. All right. But at 1550, we're getting a four point to 1 dB loss, where if I'm going to go back to 1310 here, if we go back to 1310, it's only a 0.6 dB loss. So these macro bends can be pretty um, detrimental into a network, you know, especially when you're when you're running a, a DWDM or, or some high bandwidth, you know, these macro bends can take out enough power to uh, create issues within the network, causing it to drop, um, losing the link, etc. So again, just to just to illustrate once again, notice this is not changing. All I'm going to do is change the um, wavelength to 1550. We got a 4.18. We change the wavelength back to 1310, and we're dealing with a 0 0.56.6. Okay, so that's a macro bend. If this comes out, we should be close to zero again. So 0 0.04 dB there. If we go to the 1550, we're at zero dB. So we're referenced out. So again, if you think about this and if that macro bend was actually sitting inside of a, uh, you know, this again is, is a two dB macro bend. 
but let's say that this was in a, a fiber management tray. So what happens when you take that out is all of a sudden we've injected, you know, two to four to six dB worth of power back into the network. And, you know, it's a possibility that we're going to um, uh, oversaturate the receiver, start causing bit errors, etc. So these guys, the macro bands, pretty detrimental in the network. You always want to be, uh, watch what you're doing with these. Um, make sure that we're not compressing the fiber inside of a cabinet door. Uh, make sure that we're utilizing all of the fiber management. So uh, that's it on the macro bends. Remember, whenever you're utilizing um, OTDRs to shoot your fiber, you always want to utilize two, at least two lambdas, one short, the 1310, and then one long, which would be the uh, 1550. Ready? So I hope this helps. That's macro bends. Have a great day, and uh, we will see you again on YouTube. Thank you.